Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Debbie Mukherjee. Uh, I work at Google on Tekton, and I'm here to talk about Triggers, which is a new project out of the Tekton family of things. Uh, so we just had its first release a little more than a month ago. So it's fairly new, but it's very exciting. Um, so, but before that, I was gonna do like a very quick intro to Tekton in general, but given the last talk, I think you might be somewhat familiar with it. So, you know, Tekton provides like flexible CI CD building blocks, uh, which are Kubernetes native. So you define, you write some YAML to define things like tasks, which are uh, just a sequence of steps that you run. So things like unit tests, or building your code, and then you have this thing called pipelines where you can like stitch together different tasks to make them run in parallel, or do things like take an input from this task and pass it as um, pass it on to the other task. Um, so yeah, that's like Tekton in general. But one big missing piece for Tekton for a long time was how do you do event-based stuff? Like if if I have a Git, if I uh, push a commit to GitHub, how do I actually trigger my pipeline? So I think you saw like an approach in the previous talk, so this is uh, a Kubernetes native, Tekton native way of doing that. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, this is not long enough to do like a, like a full deep dive into triggers and all it does, but if I had to like do, uh, talk about the top th three things about triggers, there are uh, three components. Uh, so obviously if you're listening, uh, if you're processing events, you need to listen for them. So you know, we decided to get very, very creative with the naming and call those things event listeners. And you know they listen for events, and we define events as uh, any HTTP request that has a JSON body. Uh, so that's you know fairly flexible. Things like cloud events are automatically compatible. Uh, next up, we have this thing called bindings, which is you have events coming in. We provide you a way to like extract useful stuff out of it. So things like oh, I want only the commit hash out of this payload. Things like that. Uh, and then once you have this useful information extracted out you want to like do something useful with it. And to do that, we provide templates. Templates are basically tasks and pipelines that you can represent in a templated form, where you say, okay, this, this is a template with these parameters, and I can inject these values into it to, fo to form a fully formed Tekton resource. Okay, so that's how does that actually look like in practice. You have events that come in. We have an event listener pod that's listening for events. Once an event comes in, we extract things out. Uh, we inject those extracted things out into a trigger template, and out comes a Tekton resource, like your task runs and your pipeline runs. Uh, all of this is Kubernetes native, so you can just write some YAML and do a kubectl apply, and it should all work. Okay, so uh, as you saw in the last talk, uh, a, a very good use case for this would be to build CI CD systems. So, like uh, on git push or on PR open, run my tests. Uh, but I want to talk talk about something similar but slightly different. Uh, we have started using triggers for this very recently, and it might be a problem that uh, other open source uh, projects might run into too. Uh, so as Tekton is growing into its, uh, as getting bigger, uh, we have more and more people who want to join the Tekton CD org on GitHub, right? And the way you'd go about this today is you'd basically go on Slack, uh, say, hey, I want to join this org, and hope that like one of the five people who have the power to do to add you basically read that message and they manually go and add you, right? So I mean, it sort of works when it's fine, but it's not really scalable. Uh, if you're a Tekton admin, it's not great either because you know you have to like basically scan Slack for messages. You don't really know why someone got added or how they got added. You have to manually go into a UI and do all these things. Uh, so I mean, we thought there could be something better, right? Maybe like a GitOps style way of doing this. Uh, so the first part of how we solve this is this thing called peribolos, uh, which is a Greek word. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it's this really cool tool that allows you to do file-based GitHub org management. And uh, this was built by the Prow team uh, at Kubernetes, and uh, the Kubernetes GitHub org is managed using peribolos. And there's a lot of features to it, but at the core of it is you have a YAML file where you sort of list out all your members and your GitHub team members and things like that. Uh, you can put that file in Git, and then you have a CLI that you run against this file, and you can say, okay, make it so, and your GitHub org membership structure will reflect the contents of that file, right? So once you have that, uh, you can uh, put this in Git, and you can have people open pull requests against it to add themselves in. Uh, so the only missing piece here is to get this to run automatically, right? And so that's where we add some Tekton. Uh, so what do we do? It's fairly simple. Uh, we wrapped Peribolos into its own Tekton task. Uh, and that's really, really simple. It's basically like two lines of bash 
we call this CL, we call the Peribolo CLI, we say, okay, this task takes in a Git tree source, a Git repo as input, and here's a path to the file, uh, the org file, the YAML file that you saw earlier, and just run it against this file. That's all there is to it. Uh, next up, we create an event listener, and in this event listener, we say, okay, extract uh, the YAML things out of it, and then uh, run the above task. And then finally, we set up a GitHub webhook to say, okay, when you push to this repo, send, uh, send, a, send your commit events over to this event listener. And that's it. So what do we get when you do this? I think I'm almost out of time. So here's a quick pull request. <laughs> so here's someone adding themselves to it. And there you go. You open, your, uh, you open a pull request when it's merged, and your art structure reflects it. And this is like Tekton dog fooding itself using Tekton triggers, which I thought was pretty cool. And I think that's my time. Cool, thank you. That's it.